Hey, Jesus is Lord. Thank God the word works. Yesterday and today, I'm going to talk to you about don't give up. This is what the word said in Galatians 6, 9, I believe it is. To be not weary in well-doing, for we shall reap if we faint not. In other words, we're going to get what we're believing for unless we give up. In Hebrews 10, 38, 35, 36, 37, right along there, I read it yesterday. It says, cast not away, therefore, your confidence, which hath great recompense and reward. God said it. I believe it. And that's it. Now, this morning early, I got up and I said to Pat, I said, uh, would you like to go out for breakfast? She said, well, sure. So <clears throat> I said, okay. Um, I had already made a program, sent it out. And so she was getting dressed. I was getting some things done I needed to do. And so she came in. I said, okay, here we go. We can go to Jack's or we can go to Crystal or we can go to McDonald's. And she says, I don't choose any of them. I said, so you think there's some better places? She said, yes, and I choose this truck stop that we go to from time to time. And so when we got there, I was sitting there and I said, uh, why did we go out to breakfast? She said, because you said you'd take me out. I said, come on, preach. Because I said it. Now watch, I didn't have to do that. We got eggs in there. We got the milk. Uh, we got potatoes. I can go in there and cook. We got some sausage and some bacon. And I can cook breakfast or she can cook breakfast. But she said, you said we could go out. I took you at your word. And I said, so if I hadn't said it, we wouldn't be out. Boy, come on, that'll preach. God's the one that said what things soever you desire. Believe that you receive them and you shall have it. He didn't have to say that, but he did. So I, I went out and spent 20 bucks plus the gas to get there. I spent my money because I said it because of my love. Come on, get it now. Because of my love for her, 52 years still madly in love. Because I like to do things that she likes, uh, you know, because that causes her to do things I like. Do with that what you want to. You can figure this out. Well, God loves me. God loves you. That's why he said, what things soever you desire when you pray, believe that you receive them and ye shall have them. And just because I said it, then she was just in just, just a few moments. Man, she ran down the hall. She jumped in the shower. She went back and did her hair, you know, got all prettied up and, and was ready to go because I said, if you want to go out to breakfast, we'll go. So she got expectant about it and she didn't have to think, I wonder if he really meant that. Or I wonder what he really might have meant because you can't ever trust what Frank says. No, no, forever, dear God, no, she knows me and she knows of my love for her after all these years. Well, you ought to know about God's love for you. And if he said it, he meant it, and it'll really come to pass if you don't get weary and well doing and give it up. I got to share this this morning. I got up. I could not find my wedding band. I don't. I put it in the same place every day. I mean, I'm very cautious about the things that I do, and I know that it was there and it wasn't there. And I said, "What am I going to do? I'm not going." So she got up. I said, "I guess that means we're not married." I can't. She said, "Oh no, that don't got nothing to do with it. We have a covenant." So I went to the Lord about that. I said, "Father, I got to move this because the uh, sun's hitting my face there." I said, "Lord, I've uh, misplaced my wedding band." I don't know what I did with it. Will you show it to me? Now, this is a true story. I sat down over at the table to drink my coffee, and when I did, I heard this, check your pocket. I said, what? Check your pocket. I reached my hand in my pocket, and with my other stuff in there, out come that wedding band that I've had now all these 50 years because God's a good God. He don't want me to lose nothing. I'm not going to let the devil have it. That's good preaching. You ought to be getting it. Don't let the devil get your beans, free holies, or he'll come back and want you taco and your enchilada. Hey, I got to go, saints. Have a great day. Don't cast away your confidence, and it'll surely come to pass. Remember, hey, Jesus is Lord. Hey, God said it. God keeps it. Act on it. Believe it. It'll surely come to pass. Have a great day.